Hello and welcome to the channel where you can get the things you want and keep your precious money in your pocket. Yes, this is the Cheapskate Show or the Cheapskate Channel or whatever you want to call it. The simple thing is I'll show you how to get things for cheap. Real cheap, hopefully, without paying hardly anything at all for it. I give a series of talks to show you how to get a good quality of life and keep your money for the important things such as your family and your enjoyment and your peace of mind and not give it away to greedy companies that just simply look at you as a contribution to their bottom line. Today we're going to talk about a situation that I know a lot of you out there have had a, sit a problem with. And that's with bill collectors, telephone salespeople or telephone solicitors, and all the like. These folks call you up at the most inopportune moment trying to sell you junk you don't want or trying to ask you for money that you know you don't have. Trust me, I know these people's M.O. I used to work as a bill collector and a telephone solicitor. Yes, I did. And really, that's one of the professions which I don't consider to be a very honorable one. Because you're bothering people for money and you're trying to sell them junk. And yes, lots of times it's junk. And I've worked in some real boiler rooms out there, so I can tell you. They'll say, tell them anything just to get them to say, yeah, and get that credit card number. But I'm going to show you how to put these people out of your way, calmly and efficiently. The only thing that you need to put this in action, or at least to put the nice parts about it in action, is uh, a smartphone so that you can download some apps. Yes, we're going to do smartphone apps today, and I have three apps that I'd like to talk to you about that will put this whole issue to rest, where people are getting on your nerves, calling you when you don't want to be called. And it doesn't only go to bill collectors and telephone solicitors and stuff like that. It could just be some nosy SOBs that want to bother you and make your life a living hell. You don't need that. You don't deserve that. And I'm going to show you how to get around that right now what you do oh and of course I'm a big Android fan because Android phones are not expensive I love the Apple iPhone series but I can't afford one and you also have to pay for a lot of their apps and I believe in free apps for the most part a app has to really be able to make me money before I fork out and pay for one I'll be giving a talk soon about an app that I did pay for, but the rewards that you get for paying for it are far greater than the couple of bucks I spent on the app. But today we're going to talk about three free apps, which each person out there needs to have on their phone. If you don't have bill problems or solicitor problems, just to have peace of mind and to protect yourself just in case you need to have a backup. And the first call, well, I'll give you a little bit of background on this, and I'm quite sure that you've had people call you up and hang up on you and do all sorts of other silly things. It could be some kids just out there making stupid phone calls. I remember when I was a kid, we used to do that all the time, and that, but that was way back before the days of caller ID and things of that nature. But you can block these calls. It's a app that has phone block. If you have a um, cell phone company that charges you for phone blocks and all these other type of things, here's how you can have it for free. This app is called True Caller, and it's spelled T-R-U-C-A-L-L-E-R. -L -L -E Once again, the spelling is T-R-U-C-A-L-L-E-R, -L -L -E and it's primarily to block the calls. Once an idiot calls you once, you can block it and you'll never hear from the sucker again. Your phone will ring once and then True Caller will take over because they won't be able to get through to make your life bothersome. 
This is a great app. It's free. It's on the Android store. Android, I mean the Google Play Store. And uh oh by the way, I'm not affiliated with Google if that's what you're wondering. But uh it's a it's a great app that's worth its weight in gold. Now, if you have a situation where you have a dispute with someone, and you know how sometimes you have business disputes and one bad thing about having disputes, you know, people kind of get amnesia and they start harassing and talking a bunch of foolishness and nonsense. And gee, sometimes you go, darn, I wish I had, uh, I wish I had something to record this thing by so I could either report them to the police, you know, in the case of harassing calls or, or, or obscene calls or things of that nature. Well, there's an app out there for you. And, of course, it's free. Once again, it's at the Google Play Store. And it's called Record My Calls. Yes, it's called Record My Calls. This is a wonderful, wonderful app out there. And I've used it quite a bit because I know a lot of crazy people. And I've had a lot of legal entanglements. And I probably will have some more. And one thing that shuts somebody up tremendously is when they hear their own voice talking a bunch of BS back to you. And especially if you offer to send that to your lawyer or send that to your boss, their bosses, or send it to their husbands or wives or whatever. Yes, this thing will record the calls and it will also send the calls to wherever you want. It'll send a, a, a sound file. It'll email it to whoever you want it to go to. So if you're getting obscene harassing phone calls, you can email it to the police, the FBI, or whatever law enforcement agencies out there. It's a wonderful tool and you should have it in your arsenal to have, you know, so that you can have people leave you the crap alone. You don't need to be bothered, and you deserve to live your life in peace. One other app is really good if you want to do a little bit of retaliation. Well, you know, people will call you up and hang up, call you up and hang up, haul you up, act funny on the phone, play, ha ha, and all that kind of stuff. Well, sometimes you don't want to put up with that crap. Or you might just be curious about a phone call or you might be trying to locate somebody uh in fact i have a situation there where i'm trying to locate somebody right now and sometimes you want to make a few quality control phone calls without them knowing exactly who is calling and since now most phones do have caller id this app will allow you to change the receive the other person's caller id and make it into whatever you want it to be. So if you have a number that's one thing, you could put on there any other kind of number you want. Or even if you're trying to do a little bit of a revenge thing, you could put your enemy's number on there and call up and act as stupid as you want to act and have the other person be ticked off. Of course, now whatever you do with this app, I assume no responsibility for it. If you screw up and get caught, that's your own ass, not mine. I'm just giving you the tools so that you can get people off of your back. In fact, Google Play is giving you the tools so that you can get people off of your back. Yes, all three of these apps are available free of charge at the Google Play Store right on the Internet. Now, once again, you iPhone users... There might be something similar out there, and I really would highly suggest that you go and look for it. You might have to pay for it, and of course, that's verboten for me. But, hey, if you need to get people out of your behind, sometimes you have to go ahead and do what you have to do. Because paying a couple of dollars for an app might save you tens of thousands of dollars in worry and trouble in the future. So, you got to weigh the advantages and the disadvantages on this. But anyway, these are tools that you have right there to put people to rest. And 
this struck home with me because I used to be in the business of calling people up, asking them for money, trying to sell them for stuff. And you saw, in fact, I used to be the supervisor of a phone room. I used to sell pest control. Oh yeah, I remember the days. And the only thing about it, it was it, it was a good paying job. I loved that job. You know, I got commissions on the sales. I only worked it was I only worked half a day, which was in the evening time, so we could catch everybody at home, so that we could have people come out, so we can give them a free termite and pest inspection. And of course, our guy would go out there and he'd try to sell them. And uh, well, you know. People bought. But the only thing about it, we only call one county. We occasionally call different counties, but we call the crap out of one county. And people were cussing, arguing, calling up to the company. Y'all call me all the damn time. Yada, yada, yada. So, you know, it was a rough thing. People get upset. People have come down to the office to try to whoop, t you know, try to kick ass. Yes, they have. You know, it's, it's a very highly emotionally charged thing, and it really affects people. Bill collection. I used to do that, too. Yes, I did. In fact, I took it one further. I used to work for this company. They used to go out and spot cars when, they, when the repo man was about to come snatch it. I was supposed to go out, take a picture of the car, knock on the door, find the person there, put them on the phone, and let them work out arrangements to to uh, pay the loan off, otherwise they were going to snatch the car. I didn't particularly like that job because they wanted me to go and talk to these people late night said, go after dark, and they had me going way down in Yahula Hall of all these different places. That sucked, and people got upset. In fact, I was about this close from going and getting a license to carry. Yes, you can carry in Georgia. God love Georgia. Ah, but anyway, you need you needed that because a lot of people got upset. You know, no, 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 you know. And I said, look, I'm not here to repossess your car. Do you see a flatbed out there? I'm not here to do it. All I'm here to do is verify that you have the car and put you on the phone with somebody who's trying to work out something with you. But people get highly charged at that. But in retrospect. Now, years have passed and I'm much wiser and not quite as hot-headed as I used to be. People don't want to be bothered with that. And see, back then, I hadn't had a lot of financial trouble myself. And I know I don't like to be bothered with that. Nobody wants some idiot calling you up asking for money that you don't have or trying to sell you stuff that you don't have and don't have the money to buy anyway. Each of these things. And even it struck me further that I've had relatives. Uh, in fact, one company tried to sell my mother a burglar alarm system, and they were a real slipshod operation. I did some of my best cussing on the phone to those people. But, you know, you need to protect yourself from that. That's why I'm giving you these three free apps so that you can mount some type of defense against people who want to come in and destroy the sanctity of your home and your own emotional well-being. I mean... You deserve to be able to come home and live your life in peace without intrusions, you know, from others there that are either trying to bug you for money or trying to get your money in other ways. You know, you want to be able to come in, sit down, eat your dinner in peace, enjoy your family, have a decent civil conversation with your mate and your kids without outsiders just harassing you. It destroys the family structure. And you need to be able to mount some type of defense. Now, you could go over there and just go in the office and start shooting, but nobody and nothing is worth going to jail over. These things will let you mount a defense, and the record my calls will let you even go further by mounting a legal defense because you could email these harassing calls to your lawyer and or provide them as admissible evidence to court because all you have to do is tell the people while they're up there cussing and saying what they're going to do to you. Hey, guess what, friend? I'm recording this conversation. So if you want to keep on cussing and talking about my mom and all this kind of stuff, go right ahead. Because I will see you in court. And you have been duly advised that this is a recorded conversation. You know, just let them know. Recording, of course, a lot of people are going to be stupid. 
They're stuck on stupid. And they're going to keep on cussing and threatening. Oh, I can do this and I can do that. You know, the common swagger that a lot of these collections and phone sales people have. But uh, you don't have to deal with it. Here are the tools you can use to protect yourself. Knowledge is power. And people take advantage of other people who don't know how to protect themselves. In fact, I'm going to give a little talk soon on one of my other talks about landlord and tenant and how some people have absolutely no business being in charge of renting rental property to people. But that's an upcoming thing. I used to do that too. I used to do a whole lot of stuff. And it's a shame I'm not rich with all the experiences I have. But I'm in the same boat as you, struggling, trying to keep the lights on, food on the table, clothes on my back, and heat in the house. And it's getting to be winter time, so I definitely have to do that because even though I'm down here in Georgia, it gets cold, very cold. Anyway, hopefully these apps will improve your quality of life and increase your knowledge on how to protect yourself against people who are trying to destroy your sanctity in your household. If you thought this information was beneficial to you and that you will benefit from the use of it, please like and share this video. Once again, also, please highlight the URL, the thing at the top that says HTTP double slash and uh, HTTP colon double slash. You know what I'm talking about up at the top of your web browser. Highlight it, copy it, and paste it to a post in YouTube, Instagram, uh, Pinterest, and Tumblr, any of those things that you can think of, and share it with others. Share this video with others if you can. And uh, they will thank you for it, especially this one, because we know everybody that out there has financial troubles. Times are hard. And they're not giving money away. If anything, they're trying to steal more money from you than possible. You need to cover your ass and keep it covered because if you don't, somebody's going to kick it all the way down the street. This is you know, my gift to you, a means of protection. Anyway, thanks for listening and make sure you tune in for many more interesting topics of how to protect yourself, how to be frugal, how to have common sense, frugal living, and how to be cheap. Once again, thanks for li listening and see you next time.